So it's travel time everybody, I've got my passport ready and I'm flying off to Copenhagen which I'm really excited about. So I hope you're all excited, as, I hope you're all as excited as I am and hopefully there will be lots more places on these travel vlogs to come. So I'll see you then. Passport, suitcase. I need the Euro adapter. Okay. You need your mum sometimes for everything. So that's me on the plane now, and as you can see, we're flying with Ryanair. Classy. Loving life. And I'm doing my way. See, I keep it a hundred with faith on my mind. I'm gonna keep being me till the day that I die. The road is long, but don't slow your hopes for no reason. So welcome everyone, that's me now officially arrived in Copenhagen. I'm just staying in the Urban House Hostel. It's pretty nice if you look around. There's a lot of cool... It's not bad. I was going to go with Airbnb but I was quite late last minute before booking so I couldn't get it. So for breakfast I'm going to have my eggs, salami, ham, cheese and some cornflakes. But it's quite good here, I'm quite enjoying Denmark so far. So the weather in Copenhagen isn't the best today. It's a little bit rainy as you can see outside. But nonetheless, I'm going to make the most of it. I'm fully caffeinated. And I'm ready to seize the day. As you can see, it's a very bike friendly city. It's pretty cool. And every single building across each street has its own kind of unique architecture, which is really beautiful. So if you come to Copenhagen, one of the good things about this place is the food, the architecture and there's plenty to shop and see, things like that as well. So if you do come to Copenhagen, definitely go see some coffee houses like the one behind me and the colourful buildings. You can see. It's not open just now but I'm going to go tomorrow when it's more, apparently it's going to be more, less cloudy and more sunny tomorrow so I'll be going up there tomorrow and hopefully more places like New Haven or New Harbour, whatever it's called. So behind me is Tivoli, which was, apparently it was the inspiration for Walt Disney's Disneyland, which is pretty cool. It's, a, it's a quite a fairy tale place. The Little Mermaid and all these things. So it is kind of like the perfect place for me, especially if you're wanting to come watch a Disney film with me. You know what I'm like with Disney, I fucking love Disney. Yeah, we can get in just now because like the sign says, it's only opening on, on the 8th of, yeah, the 6th of April. So I can't go in just now, which is really sad. It's a shame that the weather's like very grey today, but what can you do? So welcome to the Botanic Gardens of Copenhagen everyone. I'm just going to take you all a little walk up this hill. Made it to the top and as predicted it is a beautiful view. Um, 
there's lots of it's a much nicer day today than it was yesterday which I'm so thankful for because now I can go and see it all Azarella Trifurcata looks dead fuzzy literally like fake grass my destination is going to be New Hau or New Harbour I was pronouncing it New Haven but what do I know eh? So I'm here in Newhau and it is absolutely beautiful like it looks good in pictures but when you actually come here in person and see it in real life it is even better. I really like this place, it's so cool. So the one thing that I love about travelling is that you get to meet all sorts of people from all sorts of different countries and they all have a different story to tell. I love that and I've met so many nice people here on this trip. And I hope to meet more of you guys whenever I go to, like I'm coming to America, I'm coming to Australia. So please comment below where you would like me to visit because I am going to be traveling everywhere. So what did I learn from my trip in Copenhagen? Well, you learn something every time you travel. That's the good thing about travel. But the thing that I learned the most is that life is more about moments rather than things. So stop wasting your money on things that you don't need and actually spend money on things that are going to give you memories and add value to your life. Personally, I think that traveling is one of those things that you spend money on, but it actually makes you richer. That's translated basically... Spending money on a pair of trainers is going to be nice for a while, but it's not going to give you much memories or, you know, you're not going to have much stories to tell. Whereas if you spend money on just a little vacation here, there, some new town or new city and waking it up in a new place that you've never been before is so much fun and you can literally learn so much. So that is us wrapping up the day here in Copenhagen. I'm just enjoying the sunset here on the, the river.